Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Now in today's video we're looking at the Camel Civil Mobile Base. This thing is absolutely huge and it's very impressive with what you can do with it. So this thing is basically a mobile command center for you and your friends to live on as you traverse through the world. It's not necessarily equipped for the alien or Mars planet but it does look rather good on the Mars surface. It's more or less for the Earth-like planet because there is a severe lack of oxygen because most of this ship is opened up. I won't go through all the aspects of this ship, I'll just concentrate on the main ones, but we do have a little crane up there which can weld little designs if you need to. We have a connector here if you want to land a ship or a helicopter onto it. We even have some controls over here which can, if I bring this up and switch that over there, we can use the detector to detect ships which are nearby. Let's just turn that off. And we can come all the way over to here and this is how we get into the main area. I'm going to go through the back first and then we'll go to the front where the cockpit is. So we've got a little container over here. There's nothing in there because you need to put stuff in there yourself. I'm going to switch my lights on and we can head down these stairs. Now in here is where all the power is and of course where you can store a land vehicle. This is another little mod, I can't remember its name, but I place this in here just because it would be a great example later on. If I come all the way over to here, we have like a little balcony thing, but if we come down to this little area here and then hit the number one button, we shall now go down to the surface. So this is basically how you can get in and out of the ship without using your jetpack. That's something that me and my friends have completely forgot to do in our Escape from Mars playthrough and we have to waste jetpacks. So it's on the sensor, as soon as you walk away from it, it will raise up and as soon as you go near it, the sensors will detect you like so and they shall start lowering so you can get back onto it. So let's now go onto here as soon as you get onto it, it will just automatically raise up, so you only have to press a button if you want to go down. And there we go, don't even have to jump. So now we come all the way over to the front of this ship. There is a little bit of a danger zone here, right there. That is just so the ship has a little bit of wiggle room, so it can go over terrain without completely breaking. As we come down this little corridor, we have little rooms, so this is like private quarter we have a little bed there you could perhaps replace this bed with one of the Ikester's decoration pack beds but it does a nice job of being aesthetically great with the way it's been designed we have a little boom box under there and we have a little computer and we have a little button up here which if you press it'll turn the lights on and off but let's turn it off to save power as we come across to this other little room this is where the medical bay is for you to recharge or to change your costume and all that let's just close up that door, close up that door, and continue along this ship. So if we come up here, this is where we started. This is the front of the actual little rover. And then if we come over to here, this is the cockpit. We do have an oxygen hydrogen and storage warning there, so no smoking and no striking lights around here. We got some ice, we got some oxygen bottles, all readily available in the ship when you spawn it in. But in here is where the magic happens, so to speak. So these two seats here are basically just your little passenger seats. They can just reach these little buttons to turn cruise control on and off. What cruise control means is if you press it, it'll just simply start moving in one direction and you can just go and do other things while it's just simply traveling. I wouldn't do it personally unless I knew where exactly I was going because you could very easily just go off a cliff. So let's just hop into this chair, bring up the HUD and now we have this lovely little display above us that says please press one button. So when we press that, which is the remote control block, we now get another little display thing. On the right hand side, as you can see, it tells you what exactly your buttons on the HUDs are, so you don't have to press G and go across from them. So let me now go into third person and press number one. This will just lower the ramp, which is very nice. It does have solar panels on it, and I have found that the ramp can be a little bit awkward to get vehicles up if they are rather low, so it's more for like a Jeep or a Humvee type thing to actually get it into the ship successfully. So that is now down on the ground and then we can raise it up like so. Number two is simply the cruise control button and number three is the cruise control stop. Number four is a nice little camera. You can't turn the camera unfortunately, it only faces forwards. Number five is a rear facing camera for you to see if the actual ramp is up or not and to see if anyone's coming up behind you. Number six, not gonna touch. Number seven, is a light, just a standard box standard light. And number eight is for you to turn off the stone sorter or not. As for if you want to like mine something and put it into the ship, it'll just sieve out all the stones. 
So let's go for a little ride here. It's very, very slow. Very slow, in fact. If you go up a small hill, it's going to crawl to a little halt. But other than that, it's rather impressive with the way this ship has been designed. It allows it to go over all surfaces and keep all wheels on the ground at all times. I'm just going to narrowly avoid that little hole over there. This is why there's that little gap in the ship itself, because it allows it to go over terrain more smoothly and is less prone to crashing and to simply breaking spontaneously when going over rocks. So you can see that we can only go up to about 23 meters a second on a fairly straight surface. But I'm going to stop that there. In fact, no, let's, let's go like this and activate cruise control. Now we're going to drop, actually let's not drop the ramp just yet. Let's get out of the chair and head over to the back where we shall get into our little car that I spawned in earlier. Let's just jump over that so we don't die. It is rather impressive, isn't it, going along like this. It's great. So now we can come back to here. That's my little car. I can now just open this up. What I will say is there is a little thing if you press number two, it will drop a connector down if you do have a little ship with a connector on it. If you want to unload it, perhaps you have a mining ship. But I don't have one. I only have this Formula One car. Let's just try and get into it. It's kind of hard because the ship is moving. And now we can just undo the parking brakes and reverse ourselves out while the little car is going. Let's just make sure I don't tip it around and boom. I know I just sort of took damage there, but that means I can now just drive along all lovely. So you can if you wanted just to stop, eject your friend out in their little mining car or you could do like a little emergency attack vehicle so you're going to be attacked by another player or by some wolves or whatever. You can just while you're moving eject out the little car all action movie style. Now I'm going to get back into this and we can go for a little crash I think. Let's see how far we can go to break this. So up comes the trailer and then we can run all the way to the front. Oh, I believe that is, in fact, the warning when you're going too fast. So it's telling you to slow down, but we don't need to slow down. No, we don't. Look at this thing go. It is rather impressive. We are losing the back trailer, and I think this could be it for the poor ship. Oh, dear. I mean, it is rather impressive to get up to about 80 meters a second before things start going wrong. It's really, really well done. So this is the Camel Civil Mobile Base. It'll be in the description below if you want to try it yourself. I highly recommend you do, because it is very, very useful for survival playthroughs. I mean, yeah, you will have to spawn it in, because it's going to be very unlikely you'll be able to build this in a reasonable amount of time. And it's kind of great for the Escape from Mars little quest mod if you are planning to do that. Yes, I know, again, you'll have to spawn it in, but it's still rather impressive little design. So thank you all for watching, I'll be back with another Space Engineers video some point soon. Bye bye.